In the best OBS settings video, you've recommended that you want this video. So we're making this video because you all said you want it. So what this is, we're going to set up different channels for your audio so you can go ahead and manipulate them. For example, I can be streaming, playing Fortnite, not hearing any music, but the stream will be hearing it. Or I could be listening to Discord and mute Discord for the stream so they can't hear it. So this is not an easy video to make, so we're going to go through this step by step and show you how to do it. And it'll be good for me because if I ever get a new computer, I will have to watch it again. <laughs> so if this is something you use, make sure you favorite it for later because if you ever come back to it, you're going to need it. So let's go ahead and start and show you how to do this. The first thing we're going to need to do is go and get voice meter potato. Yes, it's a potato. <laughs> So with that, all you do is go to the link I have below and click on potato and you go down here and there's a zip or exe. If you have good speed, I would just do exe. It doesn't look like there's a huge difference in size. Go ahead and install it. Now I do have this installed already, so I am not going to go through and reinstall it, but I'm going to walk you through the steps. So if you do go ahead and download it, you would just want to put it in a folder that is different from everything else. Let me go ahead and create a new folder here, kind of give you an idea. You just want to go ahead and download this. Once you have it downloaded, let's go ahead. We're going to need to do some other things up here at the top. We're going to choose voice audio cable. So let's choose that. We need to go ahead and get this downloaded as well. So we're going to go ahead and choose download here. And boom. So with that, we do need different cables. I believe if you want to use two cables, you do need the A and B. This may have changed since last I've used it, but from my understanding, you do need it. So if you scroll down, you'll see the A and B cable here. And here's the package. You would just go ahead and download that. Now, if you do want this option, there is a charge five euros, which comes out to like four dollars and some cents USD if you choose that so you don't need to have this unless you're using more than one so for example you'll be able to do this with music or you'll be able to do it with discord but you won't be able to do it with discord and music unless you purchase the pack so it's only like five bucks forever so if you're serious about your audio I would just go ahead and get it once we have everything we're gonna go ahead and unzip everything we're just gonna extract it here and there's voice meter eight setup. You're just going to right click, choose run as administrator. This will come up and here it'll say install. For me, it's saying remove because I already have it, but you would just choose install and probably next through a few times and then it'll be installed. After that, you're going to want to go ahead and take all your cables. We have the one that we downloaded and then you'll have two more if you purchase them and you would put these in the install folder. So here is my install folder after everything's said and done. So basically after you install it, you have the program installed. Now you have to think of it like this. You need to plug in some cables. Since we don't have physical cables, we're making virtual cables. So now we have the virtual cable downloaded. We're gonna go down here and it's gonna say BB cable driver pack 43 zip. You've already extracted it like I showed you. So now we're just going to go to the setup. So it's VB cable setup dot exe. So you'll right click, choose run as administrator and you'll install that. Once that's installed, if you did install the AB cables, I believe I have them up here. You would just extract them the same way. Right click and then choose extract. So this would be cable A. I would right click and extract here. And then I would do the same thing with B extract here. Basically the same thing. It's just an A and a B. After that, you would go to the VB cable setup underscore x64.exe. As long as you're running 64 bit, which most people are for Windows, you would right click here and you would choose run as administrator again and install it. Now we have everything installed. So what I need you to do now is reboot your computer. So go down to start, shut down and restart. 
and it might be a little late for me to tell you this, but before you do this, try to watch this video on a different screen because as we set this up, the audio may go out from time to time. Now we need to go ahead and just change the settings. So we're going to go down to the uh, voice here and right click and choose open sound settings. You can also go ahead and go into your control panel and choose sound that way if it doesn't work. Choose your output device. We want to go ahead and choose this one. Voice meter input, VB audio, voice meter, VAIO. That's the one that works for me. So that's what I would suggest. For your microphone, you can leave it alone, put it here and you should be good. So with this, you want to make sure the quality is good as well. So some people go ahead and choose device properties and then advanced device properties. Under advanced here, you want to make sure it's at 48,000. If it's lower, you're not going to have as good a quality. You'll still have good quality. It just won't be DVD or studio, as they would say. So I would make sure you have 48,000 hertz. Sometimes it's set to 41 or 42 below. And you can do the same thing with your microphone. Go down here, device properties, additional device properties, advanced. And then here I have it to 48,000 as well. So now we have voice meter set up here. And we also have the microphone that I'm going to be using. I don't want to switch that or you won't hear me. So we're all set there. We can go and close this. So once we get in here, open up Discord, we're going to be in my Discord automatically. We're going to go ahead and choose settings here. And then we're going to go ahead and choose voice and video. Here we're just going to change output device to cable A. And go ahead and close it. That's all for Discord. Let's open up Spotify. Next, we'll open up Spotify. Once you have Spotify open, make sure you start playing something. So I'm going to play something and then pause it. So now that I played something, this will allow it to show up in our sound settings. So we're going to go back to the speaker here, right click and choose open sound settings. You should already be selected sound. Scroll down to the bottom, choose app volume and device preferences. If you're looking for Spotify premium. You're going to go ahead and click the output. And you're going to change this to cable B. So this is going to be on our second one. Once you have that set, you can go ahead and close that. Close Spotify. So for Streamlabs, what you would do is you would need to go ahead and add a new source to get it to show up over here on the side here. For OBS, if you have the old one, you would just go up here and add Discord in. But over here for Streamlabs, it's a little different. We click the plus. We choose audio input capture. Go ahead and choose add source. Name it what you would like. We'll go with Discord because that's in our first spot. We'll choose add source. And then for device that's using cable A. So we're looking for cable A output. We'll select that and we'll choose done. So now I'll be able to go ahead and manually change the volume on Discord here. I can also set it up as a hotkey to mute, which would even go on my stream deck. You could even set that up. So you hit the button and it just automatically mutes Discord. There's no one in Discord right now, so I can't really show you how it works, but that's basically how you would go ahead and add it. So now you'll be able to go ahead and manipulate it from within. Unfortunately for Streamlabs, there's no global area for this. You have to add it per scene. So this is set for this one. If I want Discord in my main scene, I would need to go back in there and follow the exact same steps. I would add it and then it would be choose Discord and then it would be all set. Let's go ahead and open voice meter. There it is. So we're going to do some changes here. We're going to click on the menu and we're going to choose system tray run at startup. This is so the computer when it boots up, it automatically opens this. This is very important because if you don't have this set, your volume's not going to work. If you ever have problems with this after you set it up and it's just randomly not working, most likely what the case is that it didn't start up for some reason. So just click on it and it'll start up. Usually I just pin it to my taskbar here. It doesn't happen too often, but if it ever does, that's what you do. 
Also, make sure you have auto restart audio engine up here too. That will go ahead and help out as well, make things running smoothly. So now that we have that set up, I just want to go through a few things here. You have your hardware outputs up here. So if I click on it here, these are my headphones. And then A2 is my speakers. So you want to click these and select whichever one you want. So since I have A1 selected for my headphones, when I come over here, if I have A1, that means I'm going to hear it in my headphones. If I click here, that means I'll also hear it in my speakers. And then I can go back and just put it back to my headphones. It's basically a quick way. So once we have that set up, we need to set up the channels as well. Click up here and make sure you use VB Audio Cable A if you've purchased it. If not, I believe the free version is just the top one, but I'm not sure because I've never done the free one. It might already be set for one free one. Uh, after that, you want to go to your second one, click this and choose cable B. That way you have a cable for A and a cable for B. So when you're down here, these are your hardware. So you have up to five options. You can have all those selected. And then down here, these are your virtual ones, which are in here, which help work with the app itself. So now that we have A and B here, that should have you all set up for everything. You should be good to go here. You can go ahead and right click on the names here and rename them. So as you see here, I renamed my first one to Discord and my second one to Spotify. It just makes it a little easier to remember when you come back in. Then if you want music in your headphones, you just hit A2 and you hear it. If you just want it for the stream, don't worry about A1 and A2. It'll play through on the stream and then you should be good to go. But if I want it added to my speakers, I would just hit A1, headset, A2, and then I can remove them. This way I can choose when to listen to music just by clicking this, or I can leave it off if I don't want to hear any. I hope you got everything you needed from this. If you didn't, please leave a question down below. This video was a little difficult to make because I didn't redo it from scratch because I was worried if I redid it from scratch, I would miss some steps. So I made sure not to do it that way. So go ahead and leave your questions down below if you have any issues. If you're able to get it to work, please let me know down below. I'm going to go ahead and do more tutorials like this as long as this one is well received. And stuff like how to stream on Mixer because I do stream on Mixer a lot. I want to go ahead and give more information about that. So please go ahead and smack the like button if you want more of this content. I would appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.